Ford Motor confirmed it filed a patent in 2021 that could shut off functions in your car, even drive itself. If you miss a payment, a Ford spokesperson recently speaking out saying that the company does not have any plans to deploy this, but it is possible. Joining me right now is Car Coach Reports' Lauren Fix. Lauren, it's great to have you. So you're late on your payments. Thanks. You missed the payments. Ford Motor has the capability to lock the door, shut you out of the car, even drive the car mm -hmm. while you're in it yeah. to the auto showroom. Yes, well, or to the salvage yard or to a uh, repossession lot. That is something that when they when this came out, people were very upset. And I think we actually won on this one, though. The pushback is strong enough that uh, they decided we're, we're not going to do this because they don't want to lose sales over this. Well, it's pretty incredible what's going on right now in the mm -hmm. auto business. I mean, auto loan delinquencies are now at the highest level that they've been since 2006. What are your thinking uh, about these delinquencies? Uh, obviously, any area that's real sensitive to higher interest rates has seen massive demand destruction. That's autos as well as uh, housing. Right. Are you expecting more companies uh, to take measures like this? Oh, and we're already seeing it. Uh, there's a lot of rumor going on, and I had a conversation with someone last night about what we're hearing behind the scenes of inventory starting to pile up and manufacturers thinking, what are we going to do? Now, I'm not going to name anyone specifically, but I will tell you that when you realize, when you drive by your local lot and you see a lot of inventory, you know, they can't just keep making more and more product. The dealers don't want it, and they can deny taking mm. it. And so that means manufacturers might have to stop production. And we've seen that with Tesla in China, where they stopped production for two weeks. And you can say whatever story you want. Well, we're having a chip shortage. We're having a parts shortage. That may be true, but it's certainly good cover. Because the fact is, as interest rates rise, and we're seeing them going to rise again, you've got recession, inflation. And when we get those jobs numbers in the next couple hours, you're going to see a lot of layoffs. And if you purchased yeah. a car at a high rate during the recession uh, or during the pandemic, now we're going to find ourselves in, you know, potential recession. And this is going to put people in upside down. About 10 percent right now are being repossessed. That's really a high number. We haven't seen it that high since 2010. So you think the car companies may be using the supply chain as an excuse to increase prices, sort of well, hide behind I, the supply I'm not chain. I'm name any specific brands, <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, I think that might be the case. And here's a perfect example because I know you're going to want something. Uh, IC Cars just did a study saying that the uh, about uh, July of last year, people were paying about 10.3 percent over the cost of cars. We're noticing that only luxury cars are still over MSRP or window sticker. What we are seeing is certain vehicles that are below, and some are selling at, which tells you the demand has softened. And that's a problem, because we had such high demand. Used car rates went up. New car rates went to an average of $50,000, electric vehicles $66,000. And now you're going the other direction, where people can't afford these cars. And those that bought these cars are upside down, which means repossessions mm. are going to increase. We're going to have another car bubble. It's, we're just setting ourselves up for a big old fall. Yeah. Cheryl, jump in here. And it's Cheryl Cassoni, and, and I have to ask you about another big story in the car world, and that is this Tesla story that two uh, drivers actually were driving and the steering wheel fell mm. off in the Tesla. Mm. Now, neither of them uh, suing as of yet, but they did file reports. Uh, I don't know about you. Mm. I'm old fashioned. I want a steering wheel in my car and I want it to stay on when I'm driving. <laughs> what did you make of that story? I think that's a really good idea from a safety standpoint and maybe just a common sense standpoint. But you're right, Cheryl. Um, having that steering wheel come off to me is a quality control issue, which I'm sure that they're going to address. Uh, the one uh, person who did have a steering wheel come off while they were driving was able to stop the car safely. They replaced that vehicle, which is good business practice to take care of the customer. Yeah. So are you expecting these higher rates to uh, worsen this situation, Lauren? Where do you see this going? Well, it looks like from what I, what I see right now uh, and from just our past experience, and we all lived through this, think about 2009. Your cost of vehicles get more expensive. The government's pushing on us to have more you know, electric vehicles, which cost higher prices. People can't afford this. If you have a job and you don't know what the future of that job is, the dumbest thing you could do is purchase a car. So people aren't doing yeah. that. And that means that those cars that you paid too much for is a problem. We're also having a problem with people that ordered cars. 
and they've been waiting for them six months. I'm still waiting for a truck myself, and it's been well mm. over six months. But when it shows up, that trade-in you might have is not worth as much because the used car market is softening. Prices are yeah. still strong, but you're not going to get way over, over book value. And yeah. that's going to mean and that your payment's going to be higher, and that's yeah. going to create some and other issues. That's the supply chain issue right there. Lauren, it's good to see you. Thanks very much.